Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you guys doing today? It's episode two of my visits to Green Apple Books on the Park and today I am joined by John. And John is the book buyer here at Green Apple Books entirety, right? For both stores? Yes, for both stores. I'm one of two buyers, I should say. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, humble. Isn't that nice? That's very nice of him. Uh, John is going to be here today to recommend some books that are coming out, some books that are already out, and some books that have been out so that you guys can get them on your radar. And I'm super excited because he has really mixed it up. So you guys are going to get a really good uh, group of books to talk about. So let's get started. What's the first book okay. you want to tell us about? Uh, the first book I want to talk about is this one. Uh, it's a kid's book. It's um, probably Island, a little higher. A little there higher. you go. <laughs> Island Born. Um, it's the first kid's book by Gino Diaz, actually. Oh. Um, and I was super excited when I heard that. Um, I'm one who kind of freezes up anytime anybody talks about, you know, kids book recommendations. Um, so this one was definitely one that I was super interested in because I've read Gino Diaz. And uh, it's about uh, Lola, who gets a school assignment to write about where she's from originally. And the fact was that she emigrated, immigrated to the United States when she was a baby and so doesn't remember. So the story is kind of her asking friends and family about the place that she originally came from. Okay. And it's a really, really beautiful book. It's beautifully written, beautifully it's illustrated as well. Um, this is actually a, a, an arc, so it's not the book proper, but the pictures are really, really yeah, wonderful. Yeah, just look at that, you guys. That is gorgeous. Yeah. And you guys know I just talked about um, Mr. Diaz on my channel. You know I <laughs> love, love him. And uh, The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde is one of my favorite books of all yeah, time. Yeah. And does she come from the Dominican Republic just like him, is, or does she come from another country, you know? Um, another country, I believe. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gorgeous. This is super exciting. This is going to be everyone's Christmas present this year for all of their nieces and nephews. Watch it. Yeah. And that's Island Born by Junto Diaz. And I always say Junto, and that's wrong. I know that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, illustrated by Leo Espinoza. Perfect. And it comes out in spring of 2018. Okay, what's next Excellent. on this? Excellent. Next up is... Um, up, Up, Down, Down by Cheston Knapp. Um, this one I read, uh, I had the pleasure to read last year before it actually came out. Um, and it's a collection of essays by, uh, he's actually the, the managing editor for Tin House Magazine. Oh, awesome. And the essays are just some of the best I've ever read. Um, really good mix of highbrow, lowbrow. Um, so he's talking, you know, in one paragraph he'll send you to the dictionary, but he's also talking about like amateur wrestling. Um, which awesome. I really think is a wonderful blend and it's just a really smart collection also for fans of and I know this is like comes with a big big bag of, of, of Everything <laughs> but for fans of David Foster Wallace There's some excellent excellent tennis writing in here that I feel like uh, will really resonate with those kinds of people Look at this cover yeah. you guys. That's a great cover and I should also mention that Cheston will be here uh, We're hosting him for an event with Matthew Zapruder on uh, Tuesday March 20th at 7 30 p.m. So if people are are interested in that they should come by check it out even if they haven't read the book and want to know a little bit more you know I feel like events are perfect awesome. place to do that yeah awesome I told you guys we're gonna get you a lot of events that you can come to if you're local in the area so oh let's say that name one more time yeah. that's up up down down by Cheston Knapp perfect okay Excellent. and next up uh, is Heart Berries it's a uh, nonfiction. Nonfiction, yes. Uh, nonfiction. I'm big on the nonfiction I suppose. <laughs> uh, by Therese uh, Marie Mailhot and this memoir really really caught me I feel like um, it's kind of closely in line with uh, I can hand it up to you, perfect with uh, Mary Carr's uh, uh, Liars Club just okay. in the same way that that came out in the late 90s and really kind of rebooted the memoir I feel like that the genre is kind of ripe for that kind of reboot again yeah and this book is definitely that it's a really really poetic book as somebody who kind of reads some poetry I feel like um, you know there are passages in here that'll just kind of you know What's her story? Like, what is she talking about? Um, she's talking about a lot about her, her uh, history of uh, you know, mental illness okay. and uh, also her relationship with her parents. Um, her mother was an activist. Her father was kind of a drunk. And so she's confronting a lot of demons in this book. Wow. Yeah. And it's, it's really, really dark, but also very good. Well, so one, there's the cover. It's beautiful. And you guys know how I feel about Roxane Gay, and she is the blurb on the front of yes, it. Yeah, so yeah. if Roxane Gay tells you to read a book, you really need to go out and read it. And John now recommends it doubly. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? That's Heart Berries by Therese Maria Malhot? I believe that's it. Yeah. Okay, Malhot, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, this is on my radar. I've been meaning to pick it up, so I'm super excited about that. Yeah, and a short read, too. You know. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not that long at all. That's not... 
Good. Okay, and now we're going into some older fiction that's come out last year or at the end of last year. Or, yes, yeah, yeah. And this one's new in paperback, right? Yeah, and this one, this one, uh, in this case, this is new to paperback. I read it last year, and we did an event with Harry, actually. He's a wonderful person, as a side note. Um, yeah, I guess the last three books that I'm doing are pretty dark. Apologies. <laughs> um, but White Tears is a, is a super phenomenal work of fiction. Um, I guess the premise would be that uh, these two guys who are in New York, they, uh, they, they're into music and into vinyl especially, and they... Um, they record somebody singing a song in the park one day, and they post it online, uh, saying it's this 1920s like roots and blues kind of uh, mm -hmm. old recording essentially. And somebody comes back and says, "Wow, where'd you find this?" And they think it's real, and that sort of starts them down this very very slippery <laughs> slope of kind of uh, you know going deep into uh, you know music uh, appropriation, uh, cultural appropriation, that sort of thing. Um, White tears is not so subtle kind of um, title there. I feel like it's saying important things about. Um, race in America, especially today as well, I think it resonates yeah. with a lot of readers. Um, so this one is new to paperback. Um, I feel like it just needs a, big, a wider readership at the moment. Stylistically, is he pretty straightforward or does he take any risks? Uh, stylistically, I was very impressed with, it's a first person narrative. Okay. Uh, and so throughout, it kind of starts in this very, very stable place. And as he goes further and further, um, you know, into this sort of uh, mental, uh, craze, I guess. Awesome. The narrative kind of goes with it and it becomes very stream of conscious and sort of uh, dreamlike, I guess. So uh, it's definitely a, a crazy read. Yeah, I've yeah. heard nothing but good things about this book. So White Tears by Hari Kunzru. Uh, Kunzru. Yeah. yeah. You guys know how I am with names. <laughs> I always apologize 900,000 times. <laughs> last but yeah. not least yes. is... And the last one here is um, In Every Moment We Are Still Alive by Tom Malkovis. I believe is how you say it. Look at that cover, you Really guys. beautiful cover. Gorgeous. Um, out from Melville House. Um, the translator, Henning Koch, I believe is how you say his name. He was also the, the one who translated, um, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, A Man Called Ove. So if people are fans of yes. that book. Um, yeah. Another from the, the Swedish here. A few, few people have heard of yes, that book. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, so this one, I want everybody to read. It's, again, a really, really difficult read. Um, I believe auto, you could call it autofiction, so it's kind of like Nosgard maybe, okay. uh, but it's definitely a work of fiction, but the narrative, uh, it, it follows uh, closely along um, a man who is, uh, uh, his wife is giving birth, and while she's giving birth, she's diagnosed with leukemia uh, during the birth of their child. Um, and so he's, he's kind of struggling with having this newborn daughter, but also being a single parent after her death. Spoiler alert, apologies. Um, but it probably a, happens pretty soon in the beginning. It happens book. in the beginning, <laughs> um, but I wanted to highlight the beginning because the first 60 pages are just unlike anything else I've ever read before. You're just, you're on this ride with him in the hospital and you're just going through this wave of emotions as he's dealing with both death and birth in the same breath. And it's just written just absolutely masterful. That sounds fantastic. It is, it is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I can't speak highly enough about it. Again, a very difficult read, but I think uh, a very important read as well. So that's In Every Women, I'm sorry, In Every Moment We Are Still Alive by Tom Malmquist, translated by Henning Koch. And this has been out for a little bit, right? A little bit. I think it came in a February or it, it's, it's this year. It published oh, this oh, year. Oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So you guys should be able to find this wherever yeah, you are. Yeah. As always, guys, remember there's a link to Green Apple Books at the bottom of this page with the code for 10% off and the 99 cent shipping that the store um, offers. Also, if you're in the area, come talk to John. He will sell you a book, and he will be Absolutely. happy, happy to help you. So yeah. thank you for being on my channel. Thank you so much, Russell. And as always, until next time, happy reading, guys.